Hello, welcome to Home Marathi. So we're moving into spring now and we both have a couple trips coming up. So why don't you tell us about yours? I mean, this is like, if you watch the show every year, it kind of comes back <laughs> to this. And we've gone a couple times. I've gone with friends. I just love going to a party for Palm Springs. You're making slightly a face No, finger. I was going to, but then I was like, no, it's actually really fun. Whatever, yeah. it's, that's the thing. It is not like totally over the top. It's not all... It's okay, you know what it isn't? It's not black and blue with a hundred thousand gay men or fucking that Spain, Barcelona yeah, circuit yeah, yeah. party thing with yeah. two million people and yeah. you can't yeah. get a step anywhere. It is a party that happens in a small town and you can kind of almost at some point see everyone there. Yeah. Like okay. it is a, a sea of people and you're fine going through them. I don't like huge, huge crowds. I like seeing friends and not losing them and sticking with them as well. And you were giving me up They and have down a lot of right artists here. that go there too. There's some big performances usually. And that's and why I'm excited this year. And then they have Eric and Jane this year who Do is, you know is the new. New, uh, Real Don't Housewives. Don't you eye roll. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She is everyone's Everything. favorite new uh, housewife. You're and ridiculous. we love her. She is like this dirty, like this is my alter ego. Her husband is the guy who is in the Aaron Brockovich movie and he's the guy who took it over and represented and got all the money. In real life. In real life. Yeah. And she's she's gorgeous. She's young. Her husband is a thousand years old. <laughs> she's hilarious on this show. She's really funny. I can't, I'm so excited to get to, get to meet her and to actually see her perform. It's it's gonna be a great time. It's April eighth to eleventh. Don't perform at me. I've seen you on stage, honey. She's doing a lot more work than you are. I'm not a singer. So anyway, <laughs> it's at jeffreysanker.com tickets, and I'm excited to go. And I hope other people are there too. And I'm traveling around the same time as you, but I'm going to Thailand. So this uh, media trip came up out of nowhere, and so I get to uh, experience all of the best of what media trip? A media trip. Homerazzi. Homerazzi.com. Send it them. She got picked out of a crowd on this one. Yeah, no one gets to go. It's just him alone. Yeah, so Donovan can't can even come. So no. anyway, I'm going on this tour. I get to uh, experience all of the hotels, like amenities, and go to all of the events. And there's this is actually when there's um, Phuket, Bangkok, yeah, everything. They have uh, all Thailand's uh, New Year happens while I'm there, and this is oh, when they I have hope the you craziest up with the lady boy. Oh my <laughs> god! This is when they have their biggest crazy water fight of the year, and there's going to be so many. Fun How does? I've never actually been, the only place I've been outside of North America is Costa Rica and France. And so this is like a big thing for me. I've never, and both and he, of those are pretty outstanding. I know. Yeah, well, but he had you, a bang been, his way into the Costa Rica one. So oh that was my God. Tough for him. Anyway. But this is, I'm going to let him do this because he does not travel. Like back home to Terrace is his big night out. Yeah. I'm like jealous. I know. Oh my God. Everyone's dying. So he'll have fun. He'll be So murdered. was it like just offered to you and you alone? Yeah, it was. From his writing. Anyway. <laughs> Clearly don't watch the show. <laughs> Good Lord, this move along. This is the US, so they probably don't. Yeah. And you? Nothing. Nothing. I got nothing. Just growing that hair Just out. Just like growing it out. Oh, okay, I can tell you about it. So, <laughs> Are you insane? So no. at this time last year, I was watching an episode. I was going back and it was like, we've hit phase one. Well, now we've officially hit phase two of hair growth. I haven't cut it in one year. Oh, these phases are long. One Half the people year. watching just switched to another <laughs> You are ridiculous with this. You've got white party. You've got Thailand. I got nothing. Oh, yeah, no, nothing. No, no, nothing. Let's no, no. talk. Okay. <laughs> well, let's move on to today's topics. We're going to start with gossip. And we're going to talk about all of this Kesha versus Dr. Luke stuff that's been happening for quite a while now. Now. Yeah, it, it has been happening for quite a while. You wanted to put it down in February, like at the beginning of February, yeah. but I said to hold off because we were waiting for the verdict of what was happening, and it came back. Um, not like for a, Kesha. Not for no. Kesha. So the whole story is she um, was signed to Dr. Luke's label, Kimusabi Records, which is owned by Sony, and he oversees the whole thing, and um, and she was like on a X amount album deal Three, or whatever. I think, yeah. No, girl. More? Like 10. Oh, okay. Or eight. Eight, I think. Just anyway. do eight albums? Just do eight albums. Jesus. So I, I th I'm pretty sure it's eight albums. Um, so then, uh, so all this stuff is going on, but she hasn't been releasing any new music for a while, and no one kind of really knew why, and it was because um, she's in a lawsuit. So she, her lawsuit claims that Dr. Luke allegedly raped and drugged and emotionally abused Lawsuits, yeah. and physically abused her and all this stuff, and she... Um, she wants out of her contract, which is like ironclad, mm -hmm. as they all are, because she doesn't want to work with him anymore. She doesn't uh, want him to have- Fair enough. F fair enough. Yeah. Fair, 100% fair, fair enough, yes. Um, you know, and then they were going back and forth, and he threw a lawsuit at her and her mother saying that um, there, it was slander or defamation yeah. or whatever. The judge threw that one out like lickety split right yeah. away. So then we were all kind of waiting, and there's a hashtag that started Free Kesha, and unfortunately, the judge came back and said that they will not um, grant an injunction to 
let her get out of it. To let her you get do out have to put there. in like the Sony offer to like move her to another and, producer. Okay, well, and, and, this is, and this is it. So so everyone was like, well, what's the like? Why is she going after him? So what she said was, he essentially found her, like mentored her, and all this stuff, and then and produces her. Now he makes money from her songs, no matter what. Mm-hmm. Okay. So everyone was like, well, why don't you just go to another producer? And she's like, well, if I go to another producer, his label isn't going to promote my music. So again. There's that. So she has to do six more albums with them, which is why I think it was eight, because she's released two, I believe. Uh, whatever, either way. So she's kind of stuck. Now I don't know what's going to happen. So the judge kind of said, you know, and Sony also said, you can make music with other producers yeah. under this label. You know, great. I don't know what's going to happen. I think the thing we have to take away from this is that when a woman or anyone says that somebody raped her, drugged her, da 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 we're not asking her the right questions. Do you know what I mean? Like, Lady Gaga said a great thing. She's like, I don't want to live in a, in a world where a child says I got raped, and then the first question is, well, are you sure you didn't, you know, do something, do yeah. something to yeah. make yeah. that happen it. yourself? Yeah. Okay. So, so that's what I think we have to take away from this. I mean, I again, I kind of feel like, I think we were talking about this. If someone says that they've been raped, I don't think the first question we should ask is, is that. I think the first question we should ask is, are you okay? What happened? Yeah. You know what I mean? And I don't think that's what's happening. So she's part of a whole, this is part of a whole, of a much bigger thing. And I just don't think Dr. Luke is that cool. Like a lot of people who worked with him. <laughs> Shocking at the end of this story is not good. But a lot of people that worked with him, like Kelly Clarkson and stuff, they have, they really don't like him. So again, there's two sides to every story. You have to meet somewhere in the middle, but like that poor woman, that poor woman. And here's the thing, and it's one of those things where like, no matter what you believe about things, she's not putting herself through all of this just well, to like yeah. make thing. a point or to and, be annoying. And she's even made a point. She's like, I'm not trying to send him to jail. I just want to go away from yeah. him yeah. so I can create and, and do stuff on my own so that's and right there that's kind of where you have to wonder like okay yeah, I think this I think we need to look at this a little further I mean we should they should just be looking at this a little further but again a contract that's is the yeah, contract. Well, contract ever since that uh, like that ruling uh, she's gotten a lot of support from Lady Gaga and a whole bunch of other from artists Gaga, so a I bunch don't think of it's going to stop anything. and a bunch of producers like Zed and a bunch of yeah. other music producers are like let's just do something for free and leak it and yeah. I'm like we'll just do that you know but th- so I don't, I don't know what's going to happen I think she's got a lot of support um, and I just, I just hope she gets what she wants from this. Because that sucks. It yeah. does suck. It's brutal. That's all we have for gossip. When we come back, we're going to move on to movies. You're going to go to war. He is not our enemy. Black and blue. God versus man. Day versus night. Welcome back. We're moving on to movies now, and that was just a clip from the trailer Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. And Tommy has something to say. I don't have anything to say. I think this movie's gonna be perfect. Yes, I think it looks amazing. I really? Love, I love like the dark superhero stuff like this and seeing them two against each other and even the casting. I think they're both great. Sorry, this is all about Wonder Woman. Ah. Okay, I knew where he was going with this. Oh. You think Ben Affleck is amazing? I think he's whoa, I mean, whoa, 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 whoa. I think Ben Affleck is inspired casting Ooh, for this. Okay. He is gonna be. I mean, he's a great actor. I don't understand why everyone's so against him. He beefed up like a mofo for this movie to play like older Batman. Cool, he got some cheap steroids. No, I th- I think he's I think you need to give this a chance. I will. I'm just not like oh I my think god, he's, inspired, amazing. No, athlete. I think it's inspired casting by him. I think Superman is going to be the worst part, but I just hate Superman. I think he's a wiener. Yeah. He's <laughs> such a wiener boy scout. Like I'm over it. Um, but I, again, I think this movie is going to be great. I think this is going to set off the DC universe really, really well. I think what people are going to do, which is going to really annoy me, is I think people are going to compare Marvel and DC like mm-hmm. they always do. And again, in people's minds, Marvel can do no wrong and DC is never right. That's, that's like no matter what, whether it's merchandising, TV, movies, comics, that's, that's just the way it is. So I feel for them that they're going to have like an uphill battle. Yeah. But honestly, we just need to talk about Wonder Woman because <laughs> when she showed, when I saw that first, like, like, when I saw that trailer where she, like, saves them from Doomsday, I leapt out of my chair and screamed, she is going to make this movie. She is the best part of this movie. How much of it she is, is she, though? Like, you're assuming she, she's going to be... She, they're introducing her into this movie. Like, I know, this but is, is she a part or she's a huge she's part? A, I think she's a huge part in this okay. movie. She's, like, the third cast of the movie. She's the front and center of every poster. So, 
I think while this is Batman versus Superman, I think she as Diana is going to have a lot of parts in it, and then she's just going to come back as Wonder Woman and it kicks off. Oh my god! It's going to be the best part of the movie. I'm hoping that it delivers to you because I'm worried it's not going to be as much as you want. You're going to freak. No, out. I don't think so. I think I'm. I have full faith in this. This like this is th this is like their one shot. Yeah, you know what really I mean? Is. So yeah. I don't think they're going to mess it up. I really don't. I think it's going to be very different from any Marvel team-up movie because, like you said, it's very dark. Yeah. And again, people are like, well, DC's always dark. Hello, Jessica Jones. Hello, Daredevil. Like, the darkest things ever. So, again, Marvel can do no wrong, and DC is never right. Like, that's so just the way it is. Sensitive. I'm so serious about this because this is my livelihood. All right. Wish. <laughs> We've got an animated film for you now. This one's called Zootopia. Hey, Flash, want to hear a joke? No! Sure. Mm. Okay. What do you call... A three-humped camel. I don't know. Pregnant. Ha! 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 Yes! Uh, very funny, very funny. Can we please uh, just focus on the tag? Hey. Wait, wait, wait! Priscilla! Oh, no! Yes? Flash? What? Do no. you call a three-humped camel uh, pregnant? I normally don't really care for these animated movies all the time, but I love this one. I love it. <laughs> oh, God, the puns and like, oh, my God, these jokes were so hackneyed. It was driving me crazy. Love what? it. Like, oh, I mean, I you know me. It's you throw our house with animation. Yeah, it's, movie. I, I mean, I, I saw the first trailers for this like long, long, long yeah. time ago. And I actually had no interest to see these movies. I was like, oh, God, animals die. Blah, blah, blah. But then the full trailer came out, and yeah. I was like, oh, my God, I'm kind of into it. Yeah. I, especially after Inside Out and all yeah, this. Yeah, I, I think, think this is this year's Inside Out. Okay, calm down. Mm. Inside Out was like this brilliant. Yeah, but there's yeah. always an in depth. Oh, because like, this psychology and this is what you do. No, but oh, he's got gray hair and he thinks yeah, he knows what he's in, talking about. Inside Out, I think, was like a movie. Yeah, but there's that every needs. year. Which was up for an Oscar. I'm telling you right now, Zootopia has got going. No, for, but I'm well, saying every year there is an animated film that kind of is kind of the breakout animated film, and I think this is going to be the one for it this isn't. year. It isn't. You're wrong. Wait, <sighs> this is well, this is out when? This is out now, right? In yes, March. Yeah, I don't, I don't really, and I don't like, I don't have faith for movies that are released right after the Oscar. I'm telling you, everyone loves the sloth. Oh my God! Move along. That's true. I'm, I'm with him on that. I mean, that was funny. Come on, <laughs> the TMB and they're so slow and they're all sloth. Genius. Genius. All right, let's move on to the next film. This one's called My Big Fat Greek Wedding Two. I need some air. Your mom felt the same way about being Greek. Florida, Texas, New York. These are the colleges I'm applying to. Why do you want to leave me? <coughs> Payback. But there's always... The priest never signed the wedding license. A few surprises. We're not married? I'm a hippie. <laughs> now, my family has come together. Who says a woman has to be married? You. All our lives. The wedding is off! To pull off another... Beautiful. Big, fat, Greek wedding. Take, yeah, a, take a photo! photo. Take, all right, pull my neck. neck. One, One, two... two. I am so irritated we're talking about this movie right now. Why? I'm going to be the first one. In theaters. I am going to be the first one to see this movie. You gotta be crazy. My Big Fat Greek Wedding is top three movies in oh, my life. Oh, wow. All time? That's All crazy. time. I have watched that movie probably, and I'm not kidding you, well over 500 times. What? Yeah. That's insane. My roommate and I love that movie so much. We, at times. For go sleep for weeks? Well, <laughs> well, at times we don't even talk to each other. We just quote lines from the movie as conversation. And then, like, the thing you have to understand about my Big Fat Greek Wedding is that is it's my life. Family, yeah. That is okay. any Eastern European yeah. family. So when I went with, like, my cousins and my mom and, like, we were in the theater, it was so funny to be in that theater the, for the first one because it was, like, definitely split in half. You had all the Eastern Europeans and then you had, like, Canadians and, Amer and, and like, you know, North American uh, acclimated, whatever. And so, like, the funniest things to me are, like, roasting a lamb on a spit in the yard. We do that. So we're howling, and everyone's like, I don't get it. And I'm like, you just, it's, it's just so part of that culture. I'm so excited for it. Like, I'm so... Oh. Are you? The are you? Like, it's nothing new. It's nothing revamped. But it doesn't like, have to be. It's I already not. so... Again, it's, it's like the Fuller House thing. Yeah, it's it nostalgia, is. and these characters were so great. I mean... 
The first one was such a sleeper hit. It is the number one grossing romantic comedy of all time. Like it is insane. It's insanely popular, and I'm so excited I hope for the next one. You are tearing up. I'm on so this excited for this movie. I cannot even. Are you gonna tell go you. with your family and with your mom, or no? I'm gonna go with like I'm gonna buy the theater, just bring everyone <laughs> oh in because God. it's it's. I'm super super excited for That's it. Cute. I'm like, yeah! I want. I'm gonna report back on this. I movie. can't wait. Sure. <laughs> All right, let's move on to social media in our own lives. We did this in a recent episode where we checked our Facebook news feeds and we just talked about the first thing that came up. So let's do that again. Let's I bring out our phones. I can't believe we were asked to do this again. I know, I'm like, I'm well, it is, it's, it. it's so, quite random. So let's just see what, what we have here. Up? Sorry, boys. Oh, so friend of mine, Dan, is in Australia right now. Okay. Mm. And he planned this trip for oh, months. Oh, we could totally talk about this. He this is a good this subject. For months. So he's going down with uh, a couple and another friend of theirs. Yeah. They're, they're visiting our friend who lives in Australia. So Dan going down with a couple friends of ours to go meet a friend of theirs in Australia. Everything's set, everything's been planned. And Dan had planned it. Dan had done all the work himself. Our okay. sad, lowly, single friend Dan. No, he's not sad and lowly. I'm describing by his own words. Okay. What is it, a week before they're going down there after all this preparation. I would say, I would say maybe less like than a week. five days. And it gets dropped on him by the friend they're going to visit, Kevin, yeah. that, by the way, my boyfriend's gonna come with all our stuff now. All their plans had to be changed. They had to add person in all the hotel rooms, all the sleeping and arrangements, And the person all the who parties. got screwed by all of this was Dan because he was supposed to be bunking with Kevin and Dan was the one who organized this. So I was there when he got the phone oh, call. Okay. So we were, it was right after spin class and he, uh, he got the phone call and he comes in, he's like, something just happened about this trip that you would hate. And I'm like, what? And he was, and he explained, I, I, I guess some things. I don't remember what I guessed, but the second thing I guessed was someone's boyfriend is coming in and you're getting screwed. He's like, yeah. I was like, if that was me, I, no. Like, look at me, I'm shaking. But it, that is so not cool. No. Like, you had X ample amount, time. ample time. And even like, even, well, maybe he's going to come. Like, you still could have planned for that. But the fact that it was a definite no and then a week before yes, that to me would be a f friendship breaker. 100%. Did, they, did he address it with him? Did he express I don't know. Dan just sucks it up. He's now dealing with everything and moving things around. Like, yeah, but he's like solo or he's like with weird people that he doesn't know, bunking. Just, like, it's for so me, that rude. would 100%. Yeah. Be, I would have been like, no, he's not. If yeah. he's coming, I'm not. I will lose this money or I will just go. Like, that is a friendship ender for me because... Friends are always, should be number one. And if they're like, if a boyfriend is there and there's ample time for the boyfriend to be involved, then that should have been should addressed have. months ago when Dan started planning yeah. this trip for every, oh, I came to And we're, you know, we're not relationship people and this is what we see. We see this happen with people who are in couples and engaged all the time and they're just like, oh, we'll just add him in. We'll just throw it on. You'll no, just deal with it. It's that's fine. No, that's not, that's how it works. For me, no, it's just rude. Friends are first. You, that relationship, by the way, is not gonna last. Let's just well, tell that right now Whether or not it's gonna last that friendship or not, that's will, fine. Well, I mean, if it Maybe was me, that you. friendship wouldn't last. But like, it was, it was just, when I heard that and I was like, I'm like, girl, aren't you leaving in four days? <sighs> Drama. Maybe there's happier ones. What's going on in your status? Well, my the first thing that comes up is my brother sharing some random post about uh, if you think Dodge is better than Lamborghini, share this post. Like my brother is nine years older, and I don't think he gets Facebook. And it's like these are the type of things that you would forward on email before Facebook existed, and he does that kind of stuff. And why is that on your newsfeed? Like why don't you? Because hide it's your my brother? brother. I'm not going to hide my brother. First of all, I've deleted my brother, and I've certainly, if I re-added him, wouldn't have him on my newsfeed. I don't need to hear about like. Bronwyn's third day at like elementary school. Wow, your brother's name is Bronwyn? It's his daughter's name. He oh. usually doesn't remember his nephew's uh, niece. Name. At least I know who my father is if we're playing that game. Whoa, so I bring know it who my out. Father is. Left at the altar. Uh, you say that all the time, and yeah. every single time you say that, it gets really quiet and awkward, and I'm just sitting here. He like, goes too here. far. But too far. Anyway, back to Dodge and Pontiac. <laughs> like, Congratulations. Do you like those statuses? You no, like okay. Well, the too. one underneath that was our friend <laughs> Ben. He loves it now. Well, oh. No, the one underneath that was our friend Ben uh, talking about his relationship status is I just Fuller, thought house. Fuller House. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> See, okay, well, well, okay, that's also on mine. So I get, like, I'm just like jumping on your statuses. Yeah, go for um, it. I do want to talk about that whole how, like, I kind of feel like, especially now, I'm seeing a lot of statuses. Like, a friend of mine, Brody, is like, even when I'm sleeping, my mind reminds me that I'm single. Or God, some Lord. people will be so. Like you in our interest, I'm just gonna use you as an Fine. example, like a light example. You're okay. like you're like you're like relationship light. There are some friends of ours who I know that are like so successful and have everything they want and everything are great. And then just like that status, like my relationship status is full. Like 
Who cares? It does not matter. It should not matter. Like, especially in your life, you should have amazing friends, you should have amazing work, you should have an amazing place to live, and then your relationship is like the cherry on top. Yeah. No, yeah. I would never, you don't believe No, that. I never would post that. Oh, I've seen some things. You don't even, we don't follow each other on Facebook for he's, this very reason. You don't know what good. I post. I, I don't, you don't post very no, much. I don't post any dramatic I stuff like that. that. So you're welcome, Facebook. Oh, now you know what I post. Ago. That's right. No, but I know that it's less than it used to be. Less <laughs> inspirational quotes of finding the one and being well, out there for life. Well, we're going to take a short break and be back with TV. You don't value what we have achieved. I have had to fight for everything my entire life. Welcome back, we're moving on to TV now, and that was just a clip from season four of House of Cards, which is now out. Yeah, um, um, so season three ended, I forgot, see this is the problem with Netflix shows, Before. is you watch them in yeah. three or four days, and then I completely forgot about what happened. I forgot that she Rewatch left. Rewatch it, take another three or four days. I, forgot, I, I kind of feel like I just want to watch the last two episodes, Fair. but yeah. I feel like, I, so she left him, and, and yeah. Um, I haven't started watching it yet, unfortunately. Well, we have lives, but yeah. this whole thing seems like it's going to be about their relationship. Like, the, the politics stuff and all the lying, it seems like yeah. it's now really focused on the two of them. From what I understand, basically hating each other. Yeah. Yeah. But it all is... I care about is that Nev Campbell is I was going to say that! And I, I love Nev yes. Campbell! Yes. I have no idea, and I am obsessed! Are you really Nev obsessed with We both have, she's oh. one of our oh biggest. Oh my god, that's such a shock to me. <laughs> I love Nev Campbell! Yes. Oh wow, this is the first person that Party ever... 5, Catwalk, everything. I'm going yeah. way back I with her. remember Catwalk? Right? No. Oof. No, I just I don't even know what she does. I don't know what she's doing. I think she's gorgeous for life. I just want to see her in this. This is life. good for her to oh, be on this. She needs yeah. To, yeah. something big too. Yeah. So Nev Scream Campbell. Five or whatever she's got going on. Yes. No, this I'm so excited for this. I will not leave for the weekend. I dedicate to this. Yeah. yeah. I it just it's an amazing show. I agree. All right, we had a bunch of stuff to talk about. Well, we decided to talk about a show that we've been binge watching, and this one's called Flesh and Bone. Take a look. Is that wide eyed little thing? My darling angels, I am thrilled to have you all here and at my mercy. My little debutante, you're about to have a spectacular life. I can't do anything with some frigid small town virgin. Hope I don't disappoint. So I put this on our list a million years ago because it's like center stage but darker and I thought it was kind of interesting. Yeah, and I was like ballet, I yeah, don't want to watch that. No I, I, didn't watch, I didn't watch it and then someone posted it on my wall, I'm going to say about four weeks ago saying, because we all know my television like journal is on Facebook. And I'm like, you need to watch this. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll get to it. And he's like, it's a dancing movie with the guys from center stage. I'm like, the hot one yeah. who I was in love with? He's like, yes. I watched it in two days. Yeah. Oh. This show was in Insane. Like it the dancing is the secondary story, like story totally. point. It was and I'm just gonna say it, I mean Rapey Brother, super hot. <laughs> you would like him. He, so you didn't even tell us you watched it. You I just didn't know that you watched it either. World. No, I uh, no, I did it in my own world and okay. then and then you started watching and then I was it. I'm like, like, girl, it's everything! Yeah, yeah. I'm like, Tommy, yes, and then I'm like, Patrick, you need to watch. He's like, I'm upset. Yeah. And so it was like this domino yeah. effect of going through. It it blew me over. Unreal. Not to ruin anything, the ending. Perfect. Yeah. Like it was just one yeah. season. It's on its own, which sucks. And I'm like, is, how did, is this gonna end well? Are they for sure not getting a second season? My thing says it's ended. That and it's like it's very unlikely they said. Yeah. Then it's a good standalone. And just the way it ended, just perfect. And this is a antagonist, a bad guy oh, I, that you. Hit. I texted him. I'm like, I think he is one of the worst vile people I've ever seen which on television. One? The, the director. director. He's so oh, I loved bad. Him. Would love but like, I loved he, you're, him. you're meant to hate him, but he was so bad. He's just the worst person. Yeah. And she is such a cool character. And she sometimes stands up for herself. Sometimes she's weak. Sometimes she's like this ancestral rape victim monster, Dally dancing. Like, bah! but then like goes back to her brother and sleeps. It's, like, it's so Twisted, weird. Yeah. I don't. I didn't get it. But I was like, it was. It was a great show. Uh, yeah. You have to watch it. This like a recommendation yeah. to the world. Yeah. So do it. All right, well, we're going to talk about something uh, that's been talked about in the gay community a lot lately, and that is, uh, well, I'll let you take over. Truvada, which has now taken as prep, and people are using it to, uh, like, 
pre-exposure mm -hmm. to stop them from being able to contract HIV. Uh, someone who was on it and to what they can prove was properly doing it. He didn't just skip a few days here or there. He was having unprotected sex as a lot of people do who are on it and he got HIV. And they found that it came from a strain of HIV that's resistant to PrEP. Now, this has never been advertised as a 100%. No, no, no. 92 to 96 is what they're saying. There you go. There's your 8% right there. Well, okay, so they have to say that because the studies have been showing like once in a while people get it, but it's most of the time because they've been screwing up. They lie yeah. and they haven't been doing it right. It actually kind of almost is 99.99. Super bug. But Here things comes like that. Here comes the super bug. And you know what? And this is awful. And nothing should ever happen to someone. And that's a terrible thing no, to happen. It, yeah. I do not like that people are going on it and then just strictly going bare, ignorant yeah. of yeah. all other things that they can get and thinking it's a 100% deal because it's not. It's an extra thing. It's great. Do it as well. Make your own decision. But this can happen. It's one, yeah, it's one of those things I feel um, like you, I think people are starting to use it and they're just abandoning every other form yeah. of, of whatever, but there's still like other STIs that are still out there. And then now there's apparently and this super so bug. Yeah. So I don't know. I feel like it's one of those things where like you should, uh, I, you should always use condoms, but it's one of those things also like if you forget or something happens and it, it's just a once in a while thing and you're on it, then I guess it, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm really, it's just, I mean, it's. For me, it's a wake up, I think, for a lot of people who are just like, oh, oh it's yeah, it's not yeah. I can do it. And like, no, it's not. And I understand this is one case and it's one thing, but duh, the answer is not, this is going to fix you and it you need to be more well, And it just one. got approved in Canada, right? Like this. Yeah, the, the different FDA approvals and all this Because we once happening. talked about uh, that going to LA, if you go on Grindr, oh God, everyone's, everyone's on there on prep, on prep, on prep as if like it's saying, okay, let's have bare And that's what happens when people. Well, that is, that is what they're well, saying. Well, no, I'm just. Well, yeah. He so just naive. lost his grind. So, so, yeah. so. <laughs> No, I just, it's, it's awful to happen. It's a wake-up thing. I think more work and research needs to go into it. it. It's sad because it was a really cool thing. Like, this is working so, so well. Now we have to take other considerations. Yeah. But just be smart with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Christ. Ugh. And on that note, that's all we have for today's show. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you next time. No glove, no love. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Did you like that one? Yeah. Did you still watch the Sunday Night Show? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. She was good. She was great. She was, I, I think she's still alive. I think she's still, she's still alive. And I love that she's like, she's like 90, like, pulling on the side. Didn't Amy Gilbert do a parody of that one? I don't know. What's her name? It's Sue. 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 S